All right, for the Nosuke, you want some green yarn. I don't have a green blanket yarn, so I'm just using three strands together of worsted weight yarn. You're gonna use about an ounce, about an ounce of whatever color you want the flower to be. And you can stuff it with polyfill, or I like to use these foam curlers because it makes it a little stiffer. So you're gonna chain two or do your magic circle, and you're gonna start off with six. Four, five, six. We're not going to join. We're just going to keep going and make a tube one single crochet in each single crochet and keep going until you have it about five inches whatever length you want or long enough to cover up the roller but you can cut this down if you want to make a shorter one okay this one's going to be short just to give you the idea when you get it as long as you want, the next round you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and then you'll have 12 single crochet. For the next round, you're going to do single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet two single crochet and you're going to go all the way around until you have 18 single crochet then join it with a slip stitch and fasten off now this is the base and you're going to insert the stuffing in here or the, the roller I left my tails long because I'm going to use these tails later on to sew the, the bottom of the flowers onto this base Now you've got your base done, and you're just going to insert that, gently shove that roller into there, and then cut off what you don't need. Start off with a chain, chain 12, and in the second chain, you're going to single crochet. In the next chain, you're going to half double crochet. In the next chain, you're going to double crochet. And you're going to go back down to a half double crochet, then to a single crochet, and it's going to make a little wave. So you keep going in that wave format. This one single, so next you do a half double, then a double, then a half double, then a single. and a half double, and then you end with a double crochet. And you can see how it waves up and down a, a bit, just a little bit. Now I cut my tail long so that I can use it to sew the bottom of the rows together. Then I'm just going to weave it through the back side here. And that's going to be to hold everything together. Now I'm going to start at the center and wind it up. Just roll it like that. Then I'm going to use this tail and go through all the stitches. To hold them tight into a, a rosebud shape 
and make sure you catch every one of them. And just go in and out all along the bottom and see what a cute little rose you have. Now, I will also do a couple of extra stitches by coming up through the bottom and going back down. Just to make sure that all the rows are held in place. Then you have the beginning tail from where you started your chain. And I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. and trim that off. That's going to be hidden on the base of the nosegay. And then you're going to take it, take one of these green ties here, pull it up through here, and sew the rows in place. So I'm going to come up through here to hide it. and then grab the bottom of the rose to hide that where we cut it. And just do a little, a few little stitches here to hold your rose in place. And then you just repeat that, that little rose bud as many times as you want. Fill up this space, and then if you want, you can put one in the center to cover that piece of foam right there. And then your rose is tight. And here you have your pretty little nosegay. Very simple. You could add some ribbons or bows, whatever you would like to, to dress it up.